2020 certainly evokes a lot of memories, uh, both uh, good and troubling. It's amazing to think that uh, with this wine, the 2020 Estate Single Vineyard Chardonnay, this is the third wine from the 2020 vintage that uh, we have released. The first being the uh, the 2020 Summer Blend and then the Rosé of Mataro that, uh, that Riley made. Um, so it's just amazing. So this, uh, the fruit for this vintage 2020 was picked on September 2nd and 3rd, a uh, good three and a half weeks before the glass fire roared through. And fortunately for us, by the time that fire did come through, 85% of our estate had been safely picked, smoke free. So we'd be making almost 9,000 cases of estate fruit, of estate wine rather, with uh, 1,600 of it being this, uh, this Chardonnay. And again, this is a classic Keenan Chardonnay. Mountain Chardonnay, which again, I want to say this almost every time. Mountain Chardonnay is so rare in today's Napa. More common 40 years ago, 40 plus years ago when we started. Because up in the mountains where it's cooler uh, is a great place for the dynamism to really show through in Chardonnay. Uh, but because of the financial pressures of escalating land values, most mountain Chardonnay has been removed and replaced with uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which does get you a much higher return on your investment. But we do have one site, which is right in front of the winery. That beautiful picture window behind the tasting bar faces right at it. That is our coolest microsite, and it's really suited for Chardonnay. And now this, I believe, is our 20th year of dry farming this block which is planted in 1995. These vines are in very mature, deeply rooted in producing tremendously high quality fruit. And then I think we do a, a great job of making the Chardonnay what I like to describe as the original Napa style. So back then in the 60s and 70s, everybody made Chardonnay the same way because they were all inspired by Burgundy, which is where Chardonnay came from. So to, to make that style, we did not allow the Chardonnay to go through that secondary fermentation, the malolactic fermentation, which produces lactic acid, which is that creamy buttery quality that some people like. I, I don't. I think uh, the flavor is off-putting as well as that chemical dacetyl, which is produced, has an inhibiting effect on the release of some of the more subtle flavors of Chardonnay. And that's what makes Chardonnay the great varietal that it is, and many consider it the greatest white varietal is that um, two words describe Chardonnay, dynamic subtlety. And in fact, I think all great wines, you can put that moniker to. So it's not about overt flavors like butter and oakiness and sugar, which are very popular in some of the very popular Chardonnays. But Chardonnay flavors are, are dynamically subtle. And when you make it in this style, you really allow the Chardonnay to speak, I think, in its native tongue. So this Chardonnay can be enjoyed now when it's young and fresh and vibrant and those young dynamic fruit flavors are a little bit more apparent. The, the pear, the apple, the citrus oil. But as this wine ages, those flavors will lose their primary exuberance and meld together. And as well as other subtler flavors emerge and the wine will then become dynamically subtle. So drink, drink this wine now. Lay some away and enjoy it later when it's five and even even ten years old, and uh, you'll be well rewarded for that. So, cheers to uh, 2020 having some upside. Thank you.